Show me the color vision on adults. Maybe <laughs> because they they have any change and they know they have it, but mm -hmm. it makes me wonder when I check a dad's color vision. It does it primarily run in the fathers, or um, yeah. Oh, so um, you can be a carrier of it and pass it along too, but you wouldn't show the signs of it. Oh. So the mom can carry it, but the if a man has it, he expresses it. So it's one of those things that genetically, um, it's way more common in men. Could we have him too? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's my primary worry right now but i would be interested to know no i'm gonna bring it just so okay you know, usually okay don't do it in adults but being that he has it we'll check your husband okay yeah. okay usually by this age they would know i right <laughs> but then it's kind of some of those things sometimes they don't know they don't pay attention to things okay. that sounds like my husband <laughs> i want you to cover up i like your shirt that's pretty funny mm -hmm. <laughs> all right now we're going to just do one eye at a time. What number do you see there? 12. Good job. And what number do you see here? 3. Good. And how about here? 2. Mm -hmm. And how about on this one? 27. Okay. And then what do you see here? 21. Is it okay if I get close? How about here? 7. Uh -huh. And how about here? 2. Does anyone see the way to you? Is there two numbers? Let's do this one here. Can't see anything there? Okay. And how about this one here? How about just the first number? See anything there? Okay. This is a tougher one. And he actually is doing good on the ones that are more distinct mm -hmm. when they're real obvious. Right. Um, and you'll notice how on this one, the you can probably see that yeah. perfectly, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, he can see that as a one. Now this one uh, has the colors mixed in together, and he can't see that part of it. So he's not color blind, but he definitely has some color deficiencies and some of those um, lighter hues. Same on this one. This okay. looks perfectly like a one. Then you can see this lighter green. Oh, uh, that can't he see can. that part. Yeah. So there's a lot of them. He is picking up very well. And this one as well. He can see the three. The eight is not apparent mm -hmm. to him. So, and let's do these ones. I bet you'll do very good on this one here. What number do you see there? A three. Good. And what about this one? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. And that's what you can see again there when we start getting to those more subtle hues. So, and I'm going to have you switch over to your other eye, okay? And then, what do you see here? A nine. Uh huh. And on it, what do you see here? Nothing. Nothing. Good. Yeah. So then here, uh, the, on this one, what does he see when he says that there is nothing? Does it blend all gray? Right, or? so it all looks gray to him on that oh. one. Yeah. Okay. And on this one, obviously, he sees the 12. You see that like nobody's business. He saw that one right, right away. Um, but it starts getting to these ones where, where they're more subtle. Um, and reds and greens are usually the ones that most boys have. Reds, greens, blues, yellows. And if it's like dark red, dark green, he can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. If it's like a subtle green and a subtle red, they look like the same color. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times, if they're very distinctly different, he may not see them the same way you do, or he can tell like, um, that green's a little lighter than that green, but he can tell this one looks darker than that one. Um, so he's not color blind, okay. but he does have some color deficiency. How, will, how is that affecting him? Probably not a whole lot. Okay, okay. okay. I won't be able to be an air traffic controller or something. He like won't? That when he grows up. No. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what he wants to be. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I was just saying, for example, like there's some things that you have to be able to have actually really good color vision. By the time he gets up there, everything will be automated in a different way. But that's yeah. just a crazy thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he loves aviation. Okay. Yeah, um, they're very picky on like pilots and some of like the air traffic controllers and that kind of stuff on the call but that being said that's how it is now by the time he's doing it who knows what it's going to be like so but some of those things can be a little trickier he can tell red from green so if he's driving up to a street light he can tell that one's red that one's green okay. um if the light is shining on it and it's you know how things are very washed out he will have a harder time distinguishing them near you so so that's a little bit that's where it becomes like he can't see as 
distinctly that they are very um, close hues to each other. Okay. And even like um, pinks and reds and things like that, where you might be able to tell, well, that one's pink. They might all just look like about about the same to him. On that. Okay. So, okay. All right. So we have to cover this side. I just want to make sure we're getting the same thing here. Let me see there. Seven. Good job. And what about here? Two. And then this one. That's good. Yeah, we'll cut that one. Okay, good. And then this one. And then this one. And let me see there. Eight. Okay. You know that one now. We were talking about it in front of you. What about here? Two. He's a little too smart for his own good. And you can kind of tell it goes in a little bit there, huh? Does it look a little more like a three? <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's not bad. And what do you see here? 21. Okay. And that one you'll, you'll see there, that one is always going to be so red and green. You can tell the difference between when it's subtle and can't tell the difference. Subtle, so. We'll make a note of a color deficiency. Very common in boys, actually. Is it going to progress or this is it? This is, it is what it is. Okay. So what you said, the career, I, I don't, I don't want to say the name of the career, but for that career to even f be like the driver, you have to have good uh, cut. Like a pilot? Yeah. I don't want to say that. Uh, not necessarily for pilots. Okay. Air traffic, traffic control is different okay. because they're all like monitoring all that stuff. Pilots, most of the stuff nowadays, everything's going towards GPS and all kinds of things okay. like that. Okay. So pilots are not the same okay. as it used to be. Okay. <laughs> it used to be a no-go. Oof. Okay. I know because my niece is doing a lot of it now. It's like, it's like, you just put it in there. It's like the GPS in your car. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So that's not like a complete probably not for the air force is that what he's thinking on that no okay. no but he loves aviation okay. yeah he's like passionate since he started talking um so it's not going to progress it, it, does it require any glasses or anything it, it's just it is what it is we know what his right. current state is and that's right. it. And okay. it's just a genetic thing, the, the way he has the rods and the cones and everything in his retina just function a little bit different on the way they send the signal back to his eye. So okay. I mean it is it is what it is. Um so it won't get worse, it won't get better. They do make glasses that enhance those things. So like later on if he's trying to distinguish and it kind of makes them like a little bit more obvious to him. Um, if he ever had to take a special test where he had to be able to distinguish things, we can put a, a red contact sometimes in one eye and it actually helps him to tell the difference to give him more of that red in it. And okay. Things like that, more like a pass light test if they need to. Okay. Sometimes they have to do that for railroad people who need to be able to tell signals, that kind of stuff. Okay. But for the most part, it shouldn't really change him a lot. I, um, Air Force, super picky on some of that stuff, so at this point, probably not that, but you know. Okay. Okay. It's probably not going to the wheelchair. <laughs> Okay. And by the time he gets up there, it's probably going to be 100 percent different anyway. Right, I'm sure. I'm we, sure. We just see the stuff progress so quickly that some of the things we didn't used to be able to do. Right, right. I just want to make sure it, it doesn't progress and it's not affecting him in any way right now. No. Okay. And at school, if they're like, "Oh, grab the, you know, mob crayon university," they probably don't use crayons anymore. Yeah. At school. <laughs> it's like the lighter colors that he can really detect but the brighter ones are obvious to right. him okay and like um if you have this and then something red next to it or you have something that's like a really light pink that's like a real subtle pink color of this you probably don't know the difference between the two colors of them so reds and greens are definitely his two um when they become very very light or washed out okay. they look almost the same red and green mm -hmm. okay But if they are a very bright, very different hue in the colors, um, you can tell that one definitely looks darker than that one right off the okay. bat. So. Pinks are a no-go on you. Oh, you don't even wear pink anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that that pink looked exactly like gray to him on that one. That was completely gone. Okay. And it wasn't even like it looked kind of like a number. There's nothing there. And that's usually most boys' really good, but pinks are a no-go usually. Okay. 
And if I am putting a little prescription that we picked up on the um, first test today, it's a quarter, which is almost nothing, so we would never prescribe glasses for that. Um, I just put it in here so we can check it next year and see okay. if that changes. Okay. That being said, does he wear sunglasses? He doesn't. No. You definitely want to start wearing sunglasses now that you're young and healthy and everything. Okay. You'll notice on your husband how he has that little yellow bump on the white part of his eye uh -huh. from being out in the sun so much as a kid. That's what we want to stop them from happening now that there's little. So okay. wear your sunglasses, protect those good eyes. Um, if you wear if you wear sunglasses that are like a little bit gray or amber color, it actually enhances color. So usually it makes that color vision thing a little bit easier to distinguish. So so uh, um okay, okay like the grays and grays grays are a little bit more washed out. We want to do more like amber browns. Okay. Yeah, that tends to make it a little easier. Okay. Yeah. Any, do we, does he have to have like polarized glasses or just any like regular UVA, UVB protection UVA. that gives you good you know, yeah. protection from the okay. sun. Okay. Um, polarized are great and it cuts back on glare and all that kind of stuff, but a lot of times with kids, the polarized adds a lot more of expense and it's, you kind of got to see if they're going to not lose the first pair and that kind That's, of stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I will I can guarantee it. you and will. For adults, it's like, yeah, you're going to love it when you're driving that kind of stuff. Oh, polarized. How much fishing does he do? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did good on your pictures. I'm going to get rid of the one that has your eyelid and too much eyelashes, and then we'll go over your pictures, okay? Did you learn about the eye in school? Not yet? Okay. You might learn about it a little bit. What grade are you in? Third. Right, third grade? Okay. You're pretty big for your age, huh? Are you going to tell us when you're five? Mm -mm. No. Do you play any sports? Yeah. What kind of sports do you play? I play baseball. Baseball? Oh, that's a really good sport. You ever got hit in the eye with a baseball? Okay, good. Keep that glove up, right? <laughs> <laughs> when he was little, um, he fell and he hit his head. Okay. Is that? Are I've always know? thought about that. Um, and was he knocked unconscious? No. Okay. No. You can sometimes have like um, issues, usually not in the vision, but like if you hit your head like extremely hard, sometimes it can put you at higher risk for like retinal tears and that kind of stuff. So that will usually happen like right after the patch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that, that, that wouldn't be associated with this, right? Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, that nerve and blood flow and everything to his eye is actually perfectly healthy. Good. So when you learn about the eye in school, you'll notice it's connected to the brain with a big cable called the nerve. And that's what this big thing is here. And we want to make sure there's anything unusual going on there or in this spot right here, because that's when you look directly at something. And then it's blood vessels, we check for like diabetes, high blood pressure, that kind of stuff. That can still show up sometimes in kids. Oh, okay. And they're actually really healthy looking eyes. Good. You did good on those testing. So let's see here. You got your eyelashes from your dad, huh? They just took straight down all the pictures. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a, a morental thing. <laughs> And let me take a look at the front of your eye and you'll be all set. And just wear your sunglasses when you're outside playing baseball and all that stuff. If he ever does get hit in the eye with a baseball, definitely you'll want to check his eyes then because that is a high risk factor for like retinal tears because they get, you know, sometimes hit some pretty bad black eyes. Okay. He keeps his glove off. He's a good job. Don't do that. And yeah. The hair does bring him in right away for this okay. reason. So okay. He should be fine. Once a year, everybody just chin right into this little cup here. Forehead all the way so it touches. There you go. You did really good on all your tests today. I want you to look right here at my ear. And then wink at these eyes. Wink, wink, wink. Wink. And let's go down on this one. Perfect. And then look right over here at my ear. And wink a few times. Wink, wink, wink. Does his eyes close up all the way when he's sleeping? Uh, they, they, do they close? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're never like open when he's sleeping. Never. Okay. 
He's a really quick blinker. Oh. Um, so he doesn't quite get the bottom of his lid, but I think it might just be so staring at him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead and blink a few times. Yeah, he just blinks really, really fast. <laughs> Every now and then when you blink your eyes, make sure you actually close them all the way. And you'll notice if he gets really into what he's doing, like uh, playing video games, doing something, you might notice he just holds his blink a little bit longer. So make sure you blink your eyes. They'll dry out a little bit. Okay. And that's just kind of a habit sort of thing. You don't want to miss anything, huh? <laughs> you got to blink every now and then. It makes it really hard, like later on, if you make contacts when okay. they're half blinkers, because then they never like wet the whole contact lenses. And okay. Really dry. But other than that, really good. So would he eventually need glasses? It depends. Okay. If he stays around where he is right now, no. Okay. Um, but he's close to zero right now, and he has a lot of growing, so most likely he'll end up being a little nearsighted. But we can't predict that predict that exactly. Okay. Um, are you? Do you wear glasses? I do. Okay. But I believe his grandfather is uh, nearsighted as well. Okay. And do you have a pretty mild prescription? I do. Okay. I do. Yeah. Well, you and your husband both have a mild prescription, then, so his chances are a little bit less. That he's okay. Good. Him. Good. Okay. So, if everybody in the family's nearsighted, it's usually a... <laughs> yeah. I believe he is nearsighted. I believe so. And he notices a little color difference right now. And that's not color blindness, okay? Okay. Now, people that are color blind... Don't really see any color. Gray to them, you know, so it's really that's the whole difference. Okay. Really. 